A student asks a teacher, why often people marry a different person than they fell in love with? The teacher said, in order to answer your question, go to the wheat field and choose the best wheat and come back. But the rule is that you can go through them only once and cannot turn back to pick. The student went to the field, went through the first row. He saw one big wheat which he instantly liked, but he wonders that maybe there is a bigger one further. Then he saw another bigger one, but again he thought that maybe there is an even bigger one waiting for him. Later, when he finished more than half of the wheat field, he started to realize that the wheat is not as big as the ones he let go of, he started to realize that he had missed the best one in the search of a bigger. So, he ended up going back to the teacher with an empty hand because he just wasn't able to forgive himself for letting go of the best wheat and described what happened. The teacher told him, you kept looking for a better one while letting go of the best one and later when you realize that you have missed that, you can't go back. This is the mistake often made by people who fell in love and lost the best person they could have in their life. So, the student said, does that mean, one should never fall in love? The teacher replied, no dear, anyone can fall in love if they find a suitable person. But, once you truly fall in love, you must never let go of that person due to your anger, ego or comparisons with others. How do they end up marrying someone other than they loved? The student asked. The teacher said, in order to answer your question, go to the corn field and choose the biggest corn and come back. But the rule is same as before, you can go through them only once and cannot turn back to pick. The student went to the corn field, this time he was careful to not to repeat the previous mistake. When he reached to the middle of the field, he picked one medium corn that he felt satisfied with and went back to the teacher. He described how he made a choice. The teacher told him, this time you didn't came empty-handed. You looked for one that is just nice and you had put your faith that this is the best one you can get. This is how one makes a choice for marriage. The student stood confused. The teacher asked, what is bothering you now? The student replied, I am wondering which would have been better, marrying a person you love or loving the person you marry. The teacher replied, it's a very easy answer, only if you are willing to admit it to yourself. Moral, life is like a basket of fruits. Either you have to make a choice of eating the fruit you love or be content with something that is healthy. Choose wisely else you may have to spend your life wondering, what if? As long as you stay true to yourself and honest, you can't go wrong with any of these two choices.